it's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the 3D Frutigo Metro effect in After Effects and I think this is a very very cool and unique uh, yeah, effect to make basically because the Frutigo Metro style is basically a 2D style so in this tutorial I'm basically going to show you guys how to transform your 2D style and effect into a 3D effect and style it, it just I thought it was super cool and uh, I hope you guys are going to think it was cool as well and if you guys don't know who I am my name is Pelle Sjöberg I'm from Sweden I've been editing for almost 10 years now and I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's really going to help you out with your editing and save you a lot of time so if that's something you're interested in be sure to check out the link in the description now let's start with the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects, I've added the footage I'm going to be using for this uh, effect here. And what we're going to be starting off by doing is basically rotor brush out our artist. So if you don't know how to rotor brush, I have made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description down below. Uh, so go watch that if you don't know how to rotor brush basically. After your rotor brush, it should look something like this. It's pretty pretty cool in my opinion. And we're going to start off by basically pressing ctrl D on this layer to duplicate it and here on the top layer I'm going to rename it to Roto and then on the bottom layer I'm gonna rename it to Background and you guys can make some color colors here change the colors on the layers to, to basically see the difference and then delete the Roto brush layer on the background layer so now we can see the background so first of all we're going to be using the background layer here and we're going to go to our tracker function here and I'm going to press track camera and here you guys can go to advanced and check detailed analysis and now when it has analyzed you will get a bunch of tracking points here and you can increase the track point size a little bit so you can see them on advanced here it says solve method and we have it on auto detect and I basically want to track the background here and it's a mostly flat scene and when you change it to that it's going to get a lot of tracking points in the background basically we can make them a little bit smaller so we have a bunch of tracking options here and you guys have to start off by testing out which tracking like suggestion works the best so this is the uh, first suggestion we get from after effects here we can move around and get different suggestions and we can mark as well to get make our own like this here it's going to make that kind of tracking and when you have selected your uh, suggestion basically or tracking uh, section you guys right click and then press create solid and camera so this is going to create this solid layer here and this is going to show how well tracked the uh, yeah, tracking really went so if you just look at the okay losing a little bit there but I would uh, redo that one I'm gonna keep it real here. So press control, control Z. Maybe go with this one here. Right click, create solid and camera. This one I would say is fairly good. Uh, I wouldn't say this clip is like the perfect to track, but uh, I, would, I would say this is a fairly good uh, tracking that we could use. So after that, you guys can make the solid layer here or the <laughs> square there invisible. And now when it's tracked, we can add textures now. So and I'm going to be using some of my Frutigo Metro textures here from my Frutigo Metro FX pack uh, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle and here we have a bunch of textures uh, in fact we have over 150 animated Frutigo Metro textures which is pretty good to have if you really want to save a lot of time uh, making this style so um, yeah here we can sort of by adding butterflies for example we have butterfly 5 I'm gonna drag this one in and it looks something like this here and what I'm going to do is basically drag it under here toggle switch the modes and make it 3d and now they're going to be tracked like that very very clean and I'm going to be dragging this under the root brush layer here it's basically going to be behind central C which is pretty nice and you guys can press P change the position of them drag down the scale so it's going to look something like this here. Really, really clean so far. Now we can go back, add some more. I'm going to add some color splashes. Third one, a blue color splash. Drag it under the uh, 3D camera. Make it 3D. Now it's 3D. And 
we could move it around, change the scale, something like that. I'm gonna decrease the scale a little bit. Continue to add textures. I gotta have another color splash. Pink one. Drag it in, make it 3D. Drag it above, up in the corner here. Well tracked up in the side there. Now I'm done with the color splashes. And I'm gonna be adding some half tone in the background. This is gonna be pretty clean. Uh, I can use the half tone free. Here we can make it 3D. Then I'm going to just rotate it a little bit. Something like that. Increase the scale a lot. Very clean. And then we can add color key to this. Drag out the tolerance a little bit. And then add invert. Now we have a nice half tone effect there. And I'm gonna drag it under the rotor brush. And when you have this, you can go through the whole half tone here to get the look you guys want. Now it looks like it's transitioning from a white world into the UK, like IRL world, which is pretty, pretty cool. Really, really like that. Next up, if we go to the extra, we could add a palm tree in the background. This is one of my favorites to use. Make it 3D. And I'm gonna have it above the half tone one. And I'm going to increase the size a ton. And then because it's changing from white background to the uh, normal, normal IRL background, I'm going to be adding invert, blend with original 100%. Keyframe it, go to the ending of the clip. Here's, here's going to be zero. It's going to be white there. So something like that. Looks pretty nice, but then we're also going to be going to the transform settings and then dragging down the opacity so they, it's not going to be showing that much. I think 20% is clean. I'm going to set it to 10%. So we just have it in the background like that. Very clean. For some more textures, I'm going to be adding speakers. One of the most classic ones to add for the style. I'm going to add speaker for green here. I'll drag it under the roto. Change around a little bit with the X rotation. Really like the look there. Animated and clean. Speaker 2. Orange. Adjust with rotation. I actually want this one to be in front of the roto brush now. Very clean. Now we're starting to get a pretty, pretty cool look here. Go out from speakers. We could add notes here, music notes. So I could add a blue one, for example. I'm gonna decrease the scale a little bit, 3D. This one should be a little bit outside, so when it zooms out, it's going to show like that. Really like that. The animation ends a little bit earlier, so just press Ctrl D, then add animation again. So it's going to be looping. And this is how it's going to look so far. Pretty, pretty clean. Add one more note. Add a red one, 3D, a little bit smaller now rotation set rotation add it to the side Control d i'm gonna change the position a little bit something like that now it's starting to come together this uh, effect here we could add a star to this as well blue star make it 3d and it's going to look something like this now when we add multiple fruity metro elements here it's a very very clean style you can obviously add more if you guys want i'm adding one last uh, texture going to stripes could add stripe one green stripe i'm going to add this in the ending 3d as well make the scale very much bigger rotation change the x rotation then the z rotation a little bit then i'm gonna add this one under the rotor brush it's going to look something like this now it's a incredible effect not gonna lie and we can make the uh, rotor brush glow a little bit so press ctrl d and here we could add deep glow Drag down the exposure, 135 is good. Then change the blending mode to screen. You can drag down the exposure even more actually. But as you guys can see now, that's going to make our rotor brush pop a little bit more. Really, really like this look here. Absolutely amazing. For the final touch, I'm going to be adding a Frutigo Metro effect here. So make a adjustment layer, Control Y. Go to effects and presets, use the presets, Frutigo Metro effects. And here you guys could use classic Frutigo widescreen. And it's going to look something like this. Absolutely incredible. Might have an issue with it being a little bit too bright now. So I'm going to just name this wide screen. And when it's too bright, just go to Roto 2. Drag on the brightness to 0.1 instead. Then go to the uh, original Roto brush layer. Add drop shadow. Set the opacity to 100%. Increase the softness. Using a transparent background now so I can see the drop shadow. Something like this. Can't really see a difference. Duplicate the uh, drop shadow effect. 
Now we're start starting to see it. And here we can keyframe the opacity of the drop shadow. Because it's brighter in the beginning and later on in the animation it's going to be a little bit darker. Here we can drag it down to the zero on the first one and on the other one. We can have it to maybe 50. There's a tiny bit there. And then we can add curves. Go to the beginning. Make it a little bit darker. And this is how our end result is going to look. I think it looks absolutely amazing and it's a really really cool uh pretty metro 3d effect uh i'm very satisfied with this effect and i hope you guys also liked this effect and thought it was a unique i really think haven't seen anything like this so uh, yeah, i'm very proud of this and uh, yeah if you guys want to check out the frutigo metro effects pack it's going to be a link in the description down below it's also going to be a little, little discount code there as well feel free to check it out if you guys like the tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe Check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.